friends in this video we are going to write a program for the 8051 microcontroller to mask the upper nibble of a number by upper nibble we means that every number is an 8 bit number now 8 bits they are divided into 4 4 bits so one nibble is equal to 4 bits so 4 bits uh, that is the complete 8 bits of the number they will be divided into the 4 upper bits and 4 lower bits so we want to mask the upper nibble of the number okay so how we will uh, what concept we are going to use let's see in our program <music> the program statement for this So we have to write an assembly language program for the 8051 microcontroller. So we will use the instructions of the 8051 microcontroller to mask the upper nibble of an 8-bit number. Okay. Also we have to assume that the number whose upper nibble we want to mask that 8-bit number is in the A register. And after masking the upper nibble, the result is stored in register B. Okay. So these steps we have to follow. So let us first see that how we are going to mask the upper nibble. Okay. So we have to first find out that what logic we are going to use in our program. Now, as we know that we are given that the 8-bit number whose upper nibble we want to mask, that 8-bit number is in the A register. Okay. Now, what do you mean by the upper nibble? As every number is an 8-bit number, okay, it consists of 8 bits. Bit number 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So these are the 8 bits of the number. Now these 8 bits are divided into 4, 4 bits. Okay. These bits are called the upper bits. And these bits are called the lower bits. Now we know that one nibble is equal to 4 bits. So when we are talking about the upper nibble, it means that we are talking about the upper 4 bits. Okay. So these upper 4 bits, they are to be masked. Mask means that whatever will be the value of these 4 bits, now these 4 bits should become 0, 0, 0, 0. Their value should become 0, 0, 0, 0. We have masked those bits and the lower bits, they will remain as it is. Okay. Suppose if we are want to ask that mask the lower nibble, it means that lower four bits are to be masked. So these bits will be masked. In that case, the bit number 3, 2, 1, 0, these four bits will become 0, 0, 0, 0. And the upper bits, they will remain as it is. So this will be the result when we are masking the upper nibble. And this will be the result when we are masking the lower nibble. Okay. Now to mask these bits, we have to make these bits as 0, 0, 0, 0. So what logic we can use here to bring, to make these bits 0? If we use the AND instruction A and D, that is logical AND, 
then we know that when we add any bit whether it is 1 or whether it is 0 when we add the bit with 0 that will become always 0 okay so here if the 7 6 and 5th and 4th bit if they are 1 or 0 if we add them with the 0 0 value then it is going to become 0 always okay so what concept we will use we will add that number with 0 because we want to mask only these four bits we don't want to mask these four bits so if we add any number if we add 1 with 1 then we will have the result 1 if we add 0 with 1 then also we are going to get 1 so we will add these last four bits with the 1 and these upper four bits with 0 so number will be and with 0 and 1 or we can sorry 0 and 1 not 0 and f let's see an example suppose that in accumulator we are having the number 67 h h means that this number is in hexadecimal notation so 6 will be written as 0, 1, 1, 0, if we use the concept 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay, so 4 plus 2, 6, so these two bits are 1. 7, so 67 means 0, 1, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 1. These are the 8 bits of this 67 number. Now, if we add this, if we want to mask these four bits, then we have to add it with 0, 0. We don't want to mask these four bits, these lower nibbles, so we will add it with 1. Every bit will be added with 1. So what this number is, 0, 0, 0, 0, it means 0. 1, 1, 1, 1 means F. So we will add every number with 0 F and then we will be able to mask the upper nibble. These upper nibble will become 0, 0, 0, 0 and the lower nibble it will become as it is, it will remain as it is. Okay, 0, 1, 1, 1. So new number we have got is 0 and this is what? 7. So when we mask 67, 6 has been removed, only 7 is remaining. So after masking the upper nibble, we will get 0, 7. If we want to mask the lower nibble, okay. So lower nibble masking will generate the result 6, 0, H, okay. Lower nibble means 7 is being removed, only 6 is there. So when masking lower nibble, it will generate 60H. When masking upper nibble, it will generate 07H. Okay. So here, by whenever we add any number with 0F, then it is going to mask the upper nibble. Okay. So same logic we are going to use in our program. What we will do? First, we will load our number in the accumulator that is in register A. Then we are going to and this accumulator with the number 0f and we will get the result in accumulator and then we will store our result at some other uh, location and we will end the program. So let's see that what will be the flow of the let's uh, draw the flow chart so that we can get that what will be the sequence of the instructions. Flowchart, it always starts with the start block. As I have told that first of all, what we will do, we will load the number in the accumulator. Okay. Accumulator is the A register and it is given to us in the question that the number is stored is in the A register and we have to store the result in the register B okay after that we will the number is in accumulator so we will logically and
the number with 0f h so upper nibble is being masked after masking we will store the result in register b now we have got our result so last step will be stop so this is the flow chart and with the help of flow chart we will be able to find out that what will be the sequence of instructions how the instructions are to be written in the program after which step after which instruction what instruction we have to do so with the help of flow chart it becomes easy to write the program okay now in the program what we have to do just replace these blocks with the instructions okay so it becomes easy for us so first a step was to load the number in the accumulator okay and number we have assumed that it is 67 h okay directly we are providing the data to the microcontroller in the program itself so move in the accumulator the immediate data 67h suppose any other number we want to use 54 45 whatever number we want to find out or we want to mask the upper nibble we will provide that number in the program itself so if we are providing the direct data in the accumulator we will use this immediate sign this is for the immediate data so this sign is to be used for the immediate addressing it means that the operand on which you have to perform the operation because we want to mask the upper nibble of the 67 number this is the operand on which we are performing the operation so when we are directly providing the operand in the instruction itself then that is the immediate data that is immediate addressing is to be used and this sign is to be provided after that when we have moved the data into the accumulator so in accumulator we are having the number 67h now this accumulator is to be ended so we will use the instruction anl this is the mnemonic for the and instruction in the 8051 microcontroller we are going to and the contents of the accumulator with that immediate data again 0fh again we are providing the operand in the instruction itself so again the immediate this sign is to be used okay so accumulator and the data 0f they are ended with each other after when they are ended the result is again stored is in accumulator itself after this and operation result is in accumulator itself now it is given to us in the question that we have to store the result in register b so we will move the contents of the accumulator into the register b so now in b we are having the result after that we have to stop the program so next instruction will be end e n d end is always written at the end of the program of uh, end of every program of 8051 microcontroller because this instruction so shows that we have terminated the program program is ended up no instruction written after this end will be executed by 8051 okay so what we have done in the accumulator we have shifted our data whose upper nibble we want to mask to mask the upper nibble we have to and that accumulator with the 0f data okay so upper nibble is being masked the result is in accumulator if we want to store the result in some other register then shift that data into that and then end the program so we have written an assembly language program using the instruction of the 8051 microcontroller to mask the upper nibble of a number so i hope that this program is now clear to you thank you